this. Um, let me just switch off this navigation system. Apologize for that. So we're back. Um, being able to say no. A lot of a lot of people have problems with that, right? Being able to say no, or some people say, "Hey, learn how to say no. Learn how to like." Nope, decline, I'm not going to get involved in that, right? We tend to try and please people. We tend to try and chase anything and everything. And often that formula doesn't get you anywhere in life, right? So um, the gig world, you got to almost look at it as a team sport, right? If you're working together with a team, you win games, you get things accomplished, right? If uh, the other team or the opposing team goes more on the offense and you can figure out a strong defense or vice versa, if you're flexible, you work together, you win games. And the gig world is really not much different because constantly you have things thrown at you, like let's say by Uber, and lift, right? Constantly experimenting on you. Uh, for example, big announcement now, teens, right? Teens, they're gonna allow 13 year olds to 18 year olds on the platform. You and I know what that means. You and I know what complications come with that, right? Dara Khosrowshahi might be out there in the media doing his little media tour, tour and selling teens so that you know is it's like you go go to google and put in uber news michael casey in the house go into uh google and put in uber news and you'll see teen teen uber teen uber teen right so they they did a good work they did a, they did good work getting the word teen out there but honestly they haven't thought it through Dr drivers know what's coming their way and, and and when you know what's coming your way you now have to operate as a team right because the company is almost like it's going on the offense it's hitting you with this new uh term called teen uh and you just know look disaster low ratings no tips a lot of wrongful deactivations thing are, things are going to go horribly wrong having 13 and 14 year olds in your car right now you know it i know it so being able to say no now the beauty is um, the apps, although they make it very, very difficult for you, but the apps allow you the option to switch off a specific category. And that's why I say being able to say no, switching off team, being able to say no to trip radar offers, right? Being able to say no to pet being able to say no to low paying fares, being able to say no to shared trips. This is how you win the game. But if you have, if, if you're not a team and doing this collectively saying no, will not engage with shared trips, dangerous, doesn't pay, pathetic. No, will not take, I will not switch on the team function deactivations coming my way, no tips, no money, no. So it is really, really important, A, as an individual to say no to a lot of the garbage that they're throwing at you, but also as a team of drivers in your city to say no. Whether you are a team of drivers in Orlando, or whether you're drivers, a lot of drivers in LA, wherever you are, or Paris, you got to work together as a team, as a family and say, no, we're not. We are all switching off team. We are all declining and switching off shared rides. We are all switching off and saying no to pet. Because if we say yes, if we come in with that, yes, 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 yes mentality. Yes, I will do that. Yes, I will please you. Yes, I will bend over for you. Yes, I'll walk 100 miles for you. They will take advantage of you. You know why? Because they know you accept everything. You're accepting trash trips. You're accepting pet 
rides, you are accepting shared rentals. That is the problem, ladies and gentlemen, with too many drivers that they say, yes, 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 yes. You got to be able to say no. Antonio Kirby in the house. How are you, my brother? Barak is in the house. Salute. There's the green lady. She says, hi. I need a coffee, guys. I am tired. Tired. Pushing, pushing the hours. I got to need my coffee. But I, I ask you kindly, and I, I regard you all as my friends, right? Like as, as, actually, as an extended family of drivers, I ask you kindly, be able to say no and you will see the results because if you decline decline bs if you decline and say no to nonsense to low fare trips if you actually cherry pick and say you know what i'm not going to drive for that i'm only going to drive for this if you have your minimums if you have your standards if you have if you don't lower your bar and you are able to say no i will guarantee you not only are you going to make more money but you are going to force change. When you allow a company to walk over you, when you allow a company to trample you, when you allow a company to stomp on your freaking head, going, 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 then they will do what they want, right? They will do what they want. It is very, very important to say no, right? And it starts off by saying no to teenage trips, no. All of us together as a team, not doing it, right? Now, if you are a desperado and you're a little yes man or a yes woman and you're chasing everything because you may, maybe you fear deactivation, maybe you fear that if you're canceling this and that, they're gonna retaliate. I wanna remind you here, and I'm gonna say it freaking loud. You are an independent contractor. You make your own independent decisions. If they want to punish you, if they want to deactivate you because they do not allow you to be independent, you take them to court, you make them pay. There are enough law firms, enough small claims courtrooms, enough arbitrators to sue their ass because they will not allow you to be independent. My friends, you are independent contractors making your own independent decisions. Does that make sense? Does that resonate with you what I said, right? So when they are throwing all this new garbage at you, when they are trying out all this new nonsense, right? Because the house wants to win, the house wants to make more money. They want to up their, sal their own executive salaries. They want to pay the investors more. The only people in this equation that they are not taking care of is you, right? Because you are allowing, you are allowing yourself to be abused by these companies. You are not able to say no. You have to learn how to say no. It's the same in a relationship. If you have an abusive boyfriend or husband or you have a woman that cheats on you whatever it doesn't matter you gotta say no i'm not gonna put up with that shit i'm gonna walk away right you in a relationship you know what you want in a relationship you know when your boundaries are trespassed you know when to say no why can't you do apply the same in the business world why can't you apply the same to rideshare food delivery? I will not drive for a dollar fifty and no tips. F you, I will not. Right? I will not drive across town for peanuts for three, four dollars. No, my my standard, whatever, whatever your standard, starts at eight dollars. Listen, in Paris they had to fight for an eight dollar sixty minimum. It starts at $8.60 because they say, no, no, we will not drive for trash. And sadly, and sadly with this couple of desperados that are not team players, they take everything. Oh, I'll just take everything they throw at me because I need money. You're not making money. You're driving miles and miles and miles and you're a little yes man.
right? Yes, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will. How many bags full, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will do for you, sir. And they will use you. They will abuse you because you know what? They know you are a little yes man or a yes woman. You have to, have to learn how to say no. And no, whether it's in German, nein, whether it's in Dutch, absolute nie, whether it's in Russian, niet, uh, whether it's in French, no, whether it's in Espanol, doesn't matter. No means no right? I will not drive teenagers. I will not drive pets. I will not do shared rentals. I will not do low pairing, low paying fares, right? And watch the money. Watch how you start changing the game when you are able to say no, right? And again, it's the same in a relationship. Watch your relationship get better when you say, you know what? No, I'm not putting up with that abuse. You know what? No, I disagree with you. I deserve better. Maybe you get divorced. Maybe you move on. Maybe you go and find a person that satisfies all your needs and wants, right? Because you are able to say no, right? You know what you need. You know what you need. And in the rideshare world, you need money, right? God, where's my little thing? I love this thing. Where is it? I'm driving in for, this is what I love. This, this is what I love. Let me show you. This is what you need in the right chair world. What do you think you need in the right chair world? Yes, you are right. Money, so you can pay for coffee. Money, so you can pay for coffee. Money, so you can pay for coffee. This is what you need. Doesn't matter. Dollars, euros, whatever it is. South African rands, British pounds, Swiss francs, rubles. This is what you need. You need to get paid your worth. And if they're not paying your worth, you say, no, no, I'm sorry. I am not going to work for pennies. No, sorry. I'm not going to work for breadcrumbs. No. Say no, my friends. Work together and say no. If you all work together, if we all work together and say no to teenage trips, we switch it off. If we all work together and say, no, San Diego Rideshare Pro. Let me tell you about San Diego Rideshare Pro. A man that I appreciate, a friendship, a team player. Thomas Gibson is his name. Thank you for throwing down 10. Firstly, he's always generous, he's always kind. But he knows what it's like to be a team player. He knows, I know his integrity, I know his personality. He doesn't accept shit in life. He is able to say no. Thomas Gibson is not a yes man. Uh, San Diego Rideshare Pro, you subscribe to him. That's his name on YouTube. He is not a yes man. He knows his standards. He knows his value. He will never compromise his value as a driver. Never. Andrew Castellanos in the house. That guy will not compromise his value. He knows he's not a yes man, right? Josh Fuentes in the house. So when you have, let's say, 10 people like Thomas in a certain area that are all following and playing on the same team and they said, nah, we're not going to take shared rentals. Nah, we're not going to take this nonsense pet, this shared rental, this radar. When you have a group in a neighborhood being able, or in a city being able to say no, watch how you raise the bar. Watch how you start increasing the pressure on them for you more. Are you better, right? Because when you start declining their clients, their rides, their passengers, right? And you able to say no to Uber's passengers. When you are able to say no to Lyft's clients, riders and passengers, they have to up the bar. Oh, he is saying no, she is saying no, he is saying no, he is saying no. We better pay them more. How are you going to get a driver to pick up an individual? You have to change the game and show them that things like teen or like I made this funny video. I hope people understood the, 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 the comedy in this, right? The satire, the sarcasm when I said baby, uber infant, uber baby. We'll come along, we'll bring the baby milk, 
We'll bring the, the diapers. We'll bring the baby seat. We'll bring the stroller. We'll change the diapers for you, right? That's what Uber wants us to do, right? Treat us like a little baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need my milk. I need my food. That's what they want from you. But you got to be able to say no. You got to be able to work together as a team and say no. You will raise the bar money wise, right? This beautiful thing here, this beautiful thing. You will be able to raise the bar money wise and you will be able to tell them, no, don't come out with this crap because we're not going to do it. As you can see, we are all standing together and saying no to shared rentals. Now, as an independent contractor, let me repeat this word, independent contractor. I, you, make decisions independently. Company doesn't make them for me. I decide, you decide when you want to drive. I decide, you decide what my minimum is. Could be $10 for you, five. But when you start whoring yourself out for a dollar fifty, and you say, hey, I'm, I'm willing to bend over for the soap, for a dollar trip, you are doing a disservice to all your gig worker family. You're basically allowing yourself to be prostituted out for no money. And when you adopt that formula, you are not only drop your own bar and your own values and your own self-worth, right? You've got to know your self-worth, right? So raise, I'm asking you all together, raise the bar and say no it is not difficult you know if somebody's like hey i'm going to make you an offer i'm going to make you a proposal for your car let's say i'm trying to get fifty thousand for my car and they offer you thirty thousand no sorry pass next that comes along i'm going to offer you thirty five thousand for your car no pass but the price is 50. what is your lowest what is the lowest you're willing to go maybe forty seven thousand I'll, I'll offer you forty two thousand no, bye-bye, pass. That is how you have to play the game with Uber and Lyft, right? You have to know your worth. Stand up, ladies and gentlemen, for your worth, and you will see magical things happen in your life. And the same goes for relationships, and the same goes for marriages. You should not tolerate anything out of a relationship. You should not tolerate anything in business that is hurting you, that is bringing you down that is putting you in the negative, that is making you go backwards. In life, you go forwards. The formula is not two steps forward, three steps back. Two steps forward, three steps back. That is not the formula in life, ladies and gentlemen. The formula is progress, climbing. And yeah, you can have your setbacks, but you're climbing, you're elevating, you're flying, you're increasing, you're depositing, you're making more money. You have healthier relationships, right? And on that journey between A and Z, it's a tough journey, but you have to be able to say no. Got to get back to work. Drive safe, Michael. We love you too, my friend. We appreciate you. So I appreciate you all. I want you to step into your self-worth and be able to say, you know what? No, I'm not going to take it. You know, just like I encourage, let's say, any woman who has an abusive husband or boyfriend, just say no, walk away from him, you can do better. Any husband or any boyfriend that has a woman constantly moaning and crapping and shitting on his head, no, you're not good enough. Then you say, I am good enough, I'm great. Bye bye, adios muchacha, bye bye. And you walk, and it's the same with Uber, Lyft, Postmates, Grubhub, Instacart, um, Instacart, Amazon Flex, uh, 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 Postmates, DoorDash, you have to be able to say no. I absolutely decline that offer. That's trash. I refuse to do shared rentals, more work for less money, more miles on my car, trash, right? Independent contractors get to make independent decisions. That's why you'll hear this word like I use it, Sergio use it, cherry picking. Right, cherry picking means, all it really means, what does cherry picking mean, ladies and gentlemen? It means I pick what is good for me. And if that cherry is on the floor or five years old or like a wrinkled little prune and you know it's not gonna taste or it's a rotten apple or it's a pineapple that's falling apart, I say no. You think I'm gonna, I wanna, I wanna bite into juicy fruit, juicy apples, succulent cherries. Bring me the good stuff, beautiful, 
cut watermelon. Don't bring me the old shit. You, 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 do, you, do you bite into an apple that's five weeks old? No, you say no, because you know what it's going to taste like. It's going to taste horrible. It's going to taste bitter. It's going to make you throw up. Bad paying trips should make you throw up. Teens in your car, 13 or 14. Listen, I have five teenagers. I love kids, but they do not. They should not have their own account. They should not be in your own in your car rating you berating you doing what they want they haven't even stepped into life and oh they can have a Dara says they can have a credit card thank you my friend love you they have a credit card and they 13 and now they feel power I'm 13 years old I have a credit card I will order food at food deliveries I will order ride share I will give you bad ratings I will carjack you 13 year olds do not belong in your car. They should not have their own account, Dara. You are a, oh God, I can't say the word because then, because then YouTube hits me. You're an effing idiot, right? Oh, he goes around, oh my kids, I'm so glad. Um, he goes, oh, I'm so glad my kids can have accounts now. You, you not even connect with your kids, Dara. You left your kids in your first marriage. You perfectly fine sending them out there with strangers. And honestly, honestly, right? Here's the big lie that he spread on media. He says, so that my kids can drive around on Uber. Dara, your kids do not drive on Uber. They all have their own private driver with private security. Stop lying to the media. Stop lying to yourself. Stop lying to your children. Stop lying to your wife. You going out and say, oh, I brought out Uber Teen so that my kids can use Uber Teen. You have an own private driver, asshole, right? Your kids will never, ever get into a Lyft or an Uber, right? Because you're too scared, because you're too hated. So do not go out there and lie to the media. And media, you should question him. Why are you accepting blindfoldedly? I would confront this asshole and say, really? Dara, you show me that you order Ubers for your teenagers. No, you don't. You have a private driver because you have the money to pay a private driver. You pay a company to drive your kids. Your kids do not get into Uber, Dara Kosha, shall we? So the, the problem is when his mouth is open, he is already lying. It's just spewing lies to the media spewing lies 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 how on earth how on earth do you call yourself a human he cannot relate to you he cannot relate to me i was hoping that david risher would wake up smell the coffee and connect with drivers i mean david risher he can run around on the street and talk to drivers he's that type of character right He's not a marked man. Dara Koshishawi, my friends, is a marked man. I can tell you that. And I'll tell you why I know that is because I see the anger. I see the comments in hundreds of videos. The people are going for Dara Koshishawi, right? And what Dara Koshishawi has no shame to deactivate you and then take your two, three thousand dollars weekly salary. They withhold your salary and deactivate you. You do that to the wrong driver, Dara Koshishawi, and wait what happens. You take a guy who really needs to make his payment or he's gonna lose his house or his apartment, and you go and deactivate him, and you steal his money. Oh, you committed fraud, we keep your money. That's what they do, right? They keep your weekly earnings. You go and do that to the wrong driver, Dara Koshishawi, and find out what happens to you, right? That's a fact, my friends. Go and read the comments how angry people are with Dara Koshishawi. So don't go out there on the media and play this little poster child. Oh, you know, the reason why I brought out teens is because I have four teens, right? I have four teens. And if, if my kids want to use teen, how easy is it to use? You know, just a supervised account that can go out. Dara Koshishawi, stop lying to the people. Your kids do not get into an Uber. Or come on my show and bring me the proof. Or have your kids come on my show and say, yeah, dad allows us on an Uber account. You will never ever allow your children 
to get into some driver's car, into some stranger's car. That's what you go and preach to the media, but you yourself don't do it. Bring me the proof that your teenagers drive around San Francisco in an Uber. Bring me that proof, Darrow Koshishawi. You do not have it, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, moral of the story. You got to be able to say no. No means no. Person, are you sure you want No, I said no. The kid will test you, right? Oh, come on, dad. Come on, mom. I said no. First, you do the homework. First, you get your grades up and then you can go and party. Oh, but, but you know, please, mama. I said, no, you got to be able to say no, 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 no. N-O-N-O. -N -O. Niet. Nein. Nichts. Nada. No. Mr. and Mrs. Brown in the house. Dara Koshashawi, you chicken shit, come on my show. Let me ask you the tough questions, right? Bring me the proof. Don't go out in the media spewing the lies and introducing features where you're throwing these drivers under the bus. Seriously? Do you guys think you're going to have the best time and the best ratings with a 13-year-old and, and, and a bunch of 13-year-olds in your car? I mean, bless them. They're teenagers. They're wonderful. But they should not have their own account. Or they, they're going to misuse that power. They don't even know how to use power as a 13-year-old. Oh, I can rate this arsehole, right? I can deactivate him if I want to. I can prank him. They haven't even stepped into adult. They're not 18. They're not 19, right? But you're allowing them access to the adult's credit card. Now, that may work well for the super wealthy, right? For the super wealthy. Oh, you know, I'm too busy. I'm working, working, working. Look here, kid. Kid, go, go, go. Take an Uber. You know, and, and, and sometimes parents in emergencies do use Uber and Lyfts, right? But good luck to you drivers if you are going to start accepting all these teenage trips, all these shared trips. You're going to be working more, more miles, less money, worse safety. Let me repeat that. You're going to be putting more miles on your car. You're going to be making less money more aggravations and safety let's not talk about safety dara's like out there in the media it's safe we have all these protections built in i am waiting i am waiting waiting for the first and it sounds so bad i'm waiting for the first disaster to happen the media is going to jump on it was it a good idea introducing uber team no it wasn't it's a bad idea right was it a good idea bringing back shared rentals? No, guess what Lyft did? They did one smarter. Lyft abolished shared rentals because A, they know how dangerous it is and they know how much the drivers hate it, right? And enough drivers showed them that they were saying no to shared rentals, no to carpooling. No, we're not going to do that. I'm not going to let this arsehole in my car and that arsehole in my car, two different bodies in my car, drive here, drive there for a for more miles, less money, just so that you can make more money. Drivers were saying no to shared rentals. Drivers were saying no to carpooling. Drivers need to learn how to say no to trip radar. Drivers need to learn how to say no to pet trips. You're going you're gonna to ruin your car. As much as I love pets, they don't belong in your car. They're going to piss. They're going to vomit. They're going to urinate on your seats. They're going to scratch your seats. No, no pets, no teens. No trip radar, no shared rentals, no carpooling, no fares for three, four dollars. We're not going to drive for that, right? And you saw yesterday in Minnesota, what did they do? All these drivers went into the capital. They were protesting. Yes, we got to be vocal. Yes, we got to strike. Yes, we got to rise up. Yes, we got to fight. Why are we doing this? Why are we investing all of this energy, right? Because we say enough with the abuse, enough, we're sick and tired of the abuse, right? We're able to say, no, we're not going to tolerate this. We need to be paid. We need to be paid. What does that beautiful sound like? Yeah. Show me the money. Sergio and Chris. Show me the money. Sergio and Chris. Show me the money. That's it, my friends. Show me the money. 
Uber teen. What are they dreaming up? Uber teen, Uber baby, Uber infant, Uber stripper, Uber boat, Uber submarine. I mean, what are they going to come up with next? Dara? I mean, what, what, you guys have like darts and you have like a big board with pictures and you just throw, throw darts and it hits a balloon. Oh, we're going to come up with uh, Uber hot air balloons. Uh, let's throw another dart. Oh, we're going to come up with uh, Uber surfboards. Oh, we're going to come up with Uber skateboards. This is how they, this is how they operate. This is how they operate. They haven't had their coffee. Thank you to the green lady from Starbucks. It's not my sponsor. I wish it was. So very disappointed in the Lakers yesterday. They got thumped by the Nuggets. Congratulations, Nuggets. Uh, my private clients, I drove them to Nobu. I was booked out for four or five hours, made really, really good money, great tip. Took them home and then they say, hey, it's a big party, it was a birthday party. And one of my clients and the client says, hey, bring your kids, bring everyone along, uh, party at our house, food, obviously catered food, drinks, everything. So I ended up last night at my client's house, private client's house with my kids. Uh, watching Lakers lose. That was my night. Get up early. So yeah, let's do this, my friends. Uh, sharing, sh get this out there. Be able to say no. Learn how to say no. You got to actually, some people have to learn how to say no because there's too many like, yes, man, yes, man. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Yes, I'll drive for anything. Yes, I'll take teenagers. Yes, I'll take pets. Yes, I'll take share rentals. No, it's not going to help you. It's not going to make you money. Money, money, money isn't funny. In the right chair world, you gotta learn how to say no. In the right chair world. HBCU band talk in the house. Let me give you a shout out. I'm crawling along here on the four or five at uh, 14 miles an hour, pathetic. You can see how slow I'm going. Um, 69 people in the house, hit the like button, looks like this. The like button looks like this. Hit it right now, ka-ching, ka-ching. If you like money, hit the like button. If you like money, hit the like button. If you like a lot of money, hit the like button. If you like wads of money, hit the like button, hit it. If you like coffee, hit the like button. Vasilios Pitis in the house. Vasilios, shout out to Vasilios. Name and city, please, so I can give you a shout out. Got 71 people in the house. Name and city, I'd love to give you a shout out. Wish you a great day. <coughs> KK is in the house. I just got a call for $25. I declined. Two minutes later, with a 6.25 surge, the same. Mr. and Mrs. Brown in the house. Chicago, Vasilius, Chicago in the house. You got Joni Beehive in the house. Oh, you're on the four or five. Thank you for all the tough talking. I appreciate you. Money! We got Jose Chick in the house. LA, Los Angeles representative in the house. Nice. T Z I C. I hope I'm saying it right. Chick. Sick. Tampa, Florida, Big B in the house. Got Hola Amigo, we got Lucho in the house. Welcome, my friend. Tampa, Jason Perez in the house. Welcome, Tampa. Blessings to you. Rolf Stark in the house, New York Upper State. Shout out to New York, shout out to the East Coast. We got David W in the house, 13 year old kids can't even get to places alone. Thank you, amen. The happy homeowners, Virginia's in the house, amen. Appreciate you, Virginia. Shout out. Beautiful thing is the coffee, the green ladies kicking in. Indiana's in the house. Rakem, I want to go on strike. Let's do it, man. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. Black fellow Whitty's in the house. We've got Gucci in the house. Palm Beach, Florida. Shout out to Gucci. I love their clothing brand. 
I love Versace Gucci. Hello, where are you in the house? Shout out. Paid. I'm tired of being underpaid. We're tired of being underpaid. We're tired of being underpaid. Stand up, rise up. State law, Chicago, no minors in cabs. Thank you. And now they want to get 13 year olds. Oh yeah, we'll take those. So, uh, Columbia, South Carolina in the house, in the life and times of Desmond. I love the name. In the life and times of Desmond. Show us the money, Arakusha Shawi. Show us the money, Tony Zhu. Show us the money, David Risha. Stop underpaying your drivers. Start learning how to treat them like humans. Allow them to work for their worth. Philly, Philly's in the house. Raz Daz. Lucha says, thank you. Drive safe. You too. Hit that like button, ladies and gentlemen. 97, David W. in the house. 15 age minimum 15 is too young i mean 18 19 should be the minimum why why does have a 13 year old have access to a credit card that 13 year old is going to give you a low rating is definitely not going to tip you definitely not going to tip you probably going to give you a low rating <coughs> or fabricate some shit right tell his parents oh the driver the driver did this and this the driver was not a nice guy. The driver was a bad guy. Low rating complaint deactivation. Watch it come. Watch it come. All that matters right now, whether we strike, whether we boycott, whether we protest, what matters is that we say no, right? No to shared rentals, no to teenage trips, no to pets, no to low fares. Only yes for high paying trips only yes to cherry picking only yes to in true independent contractorships where i can make my own decisions i will only and unfortunately it's like it's like dumpster diving right because there, there, there's not much of this left there right so you really have to wait and sit okay and do your math and calculate and, and know your city am i going to make money here let me look at the time. Let me look at the city. Let me look at the offer. Let me look at the time. Let me look at the city layer becoming less and less and less. That's what we need. Amen. 82 people in the house. Smash the like button. Let's get up to 50. 50, por favor. Dun, 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 dun. Under pressure. Let's put them under pressure. Dun, 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 dun. Legendary Cross the Shawi singing, pressure coming down on me. These drivers not accepting trips under pressure. Uber's under pressure. We got to put the pressure on them. Say no. Say no. Say no. Right. Well, I don't know why it's gray skies here, like June gloom. It's gray, rainy, a little bit rainy, weird, weird, weird weather. Strange weather today in LA. JFK in the house. We're going on strike again in Tampa. Do it, Tampa. Stand up, get up, stand up, stand up and strike. Get up, stand up. Stand up and strike. Get up, stand up. Stand up and strike. We're sick and tired of these low trips. We're sick and tired of teenage crap. We're sick and tired of the uh, shared rental. We're sick and tired of the low fares. Get up, stand up. Stand up and strike. Don't accept the trip that does not pay don't accept the trip that does not pay cherry pick cherry pick cherry pick all day cherry pick cherry pick cherry pick all day preach baby preach it preaching time it is preaching time and i'm telling dara kosher shall we you better pay us 
You better pay us. Preaching time. Daryl Kershaw, shall we? You better pay us. David Risha, it's time to pay us. No money. We want money. We want money. We don't want this bullshit. We don't want team. We don't want shared rentals. We want all the crap. We want, we, show us the money. Just show us the money. Show us the money. Sergio and Chris, show us the money. Don't pay us these peanuts, these crumbs, this crap. Teenage, brr, trip radar. Brr. Nonsense, man. It's like We're like we're an experiment. We're like, oh, here, little hamster. Oh, let me see how I can get this little hamster into the wheel again. Oh, you spin me right round, baby. Right round like a hamster, baby. Right, right, round, round. I'll spin you right round, right, baby. Right round like a hamster, baby. Round and round. That's all they want to do. They want you to like, go, oh, oh, go, little ride driver. Go into your little hamster wheel. Yep, follow our orders. No. Sorry. No. Not engaging, no, not participating, no, not driving for that crap offer. You're an independent contractor. Act like an independent contractor. Start acting like an independent contractor. Cherry pickle day. Just take the most succulent cherries of the day. And everything else, go swivel. Go spin on this. You send us a low offer, go spin and rotate on that. You're sending us 13 year olds, go spin and rotate on that. You're sending us pet trips, go spin and rotate on that. You're sending us carpools and share rentals, go spin and rotate on that. Right, it's very easy. It's not difficult. All right, my friends. Aram's in the house. Hey, family, back to the family. We are family. Da -da 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 -da. We are family. That's how we got to do it. We got to be like a team. Got to be able to say no. No, sorry, no. No, 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 no. Alrighty, I need to uh, focus on the road. I need, uh, we're in 49. I am only leaving if I get to 50. So, so, so hit that like button. Looks like this. So, let's recap the entire video. Be able to say no. Work together as a team of drivers in your city that says no to teenage trips, switch it off. Switch off teenage functions, switch off shared rentals, switch off carpooling, switch off pets, and cherry pick. Just switch off any crap trip or trip radar BS that they're trying to throw at you. Just switch it off. No, not gonna do it. Not going to do it. Jackson's in the house. I'm still on 49, waiting for 50. Get me to 51. Please, uno por favor, eins bitte. Un s'il vous plaît, Ian Asseblief. One, please. All I need, one of these. There we go. Somebody, who was it? Who was number 50? I was, Aram, I was at LAX. I'm heading home. I'm going Calabasas. Calabasas. Calabasas with the green lady. There she is. The green lady. I'm taking the green lady to Calabasas. 51. Thank you. Gracias. Danke schön. Merci. Thank you. Spasiba. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for getting me to 51. I appreciate Vivi is in the house. Kosher Shawi crappy mode. Yeah, Kosher Shawi crappy mode. Switch it off. Switch off Kosher Shawi crappy mode. I like that. I like that uh, message. Everybody say no to Kosher Shawi crappy mode. Chicago, Illinois in the house. New money in the house. To Chai Town, huge shout out to Chicago. Stay safe out there, my brothers and sisters, wherever you are. Get yourself a dash cam, preferably a display. Display ride dash cam. If they deactivate you, come over to Gig Rocket, let us help you, right? But we got to learn how to say no. We got to learn how to work together and just absolutely decline this trash that they're offering us. Jackson says, Tulsa, Oklahoma City, shout out. Shout out to Tulsa, Oklahoma City. Muchas gracias, de nada. You're welcome, Lucho. Appreciate you, my brother. 
everyone's welcome in this in the house in the house where we try and make more money in the house where we share ideas suggestions our input our know-how to uh, to be slaves to the rhythm we are not little yes men and yes women that do absolutely everything that these people like Dara Koshisha we want us to do we are not hamsters we are not guinea pigs we are not experiments we're not rabbits we're not lab rats we're humans treat us like humans thank you very much treat us like humans not difficult say no say no say no there we go here we go here we go here we go now dun, 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 dun. under pressure that's that's dara's new song under pressure coming down on me da, da, da. under pressure these drivers are driving me crazy i'm under pressure yeah we're gonna put so much pressure that your skull is gonna explode bro you are going to freaking spin out because of the pressure under pressure coming down on me for sure do da da de do da da de under pressure da 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 do da da de under pressure that's gonna do pressure pressure on these companies pressure pressure strike boycott strike boycott strike boycott protest do it say no say no say no to the crap say no say no say no to the crap say no say no say no to teens say no say no say no to pets say no say no say no to shared rights start making money my friends don't just let them spoon feed you all the crap we're not little Gerber babies that just like accept everything that they feed us. Uh uh. Not happening. No. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. My amigas, my amigos, my friends, meine Freunde, meine Freunde. Have a blessed day. Please be safe out there. Go and get your dash cam. Go and get your mace. Go and get ever whatever it takes to stay safe. Go and get your display ride, right? where you can instantly upload all the footage into the cloud so we catch the bad guys, right? Uh, teenagers start misbehaving in your car. Well, you should decline teenagers. You shouldn't even switch on the function, right? But there are sometimes these little teenagers that somehow end up in your car. Show them who's the boss. Who's the boss? You are the boss. Your car, your rules. Your car, your rules now, let me repeat that it's a very simple formula your car your rules you are an independent contractor you own the car you pay the gas you pay the insurance they follow make sure they follow your rules if they do not follow your rules no bye bye get out right you're the boss this is your office right this is your office right this is your office right this is your four walls you own it you rule it your rules very simple now my car my rules my money pay me pay me my money that's it it's not it's not, it's not a difficult formula who paid for this car you did who's paying for the gas you are who's paying for the insurance you are set the rules Apparently, you're an independent contractor. And if they want to retaliate, if they want to deactivate you, if they want to punish you because you are acting as an independent contractor, you sue their ass. You come to me, I'll show you how to make money. Every day I make these drivers money 12,000, 20,000, 5,000, 80,000. People are sharing with me what they are making. I will show you how to extract money from them if they do not treat you as an independent contractor all day long my friends all day long okay let me put the hazards on sudden stop here cars coming up behind me always use the hazard. Nazir's in the house good morning my friend I love that positivity 
I love it, Nazir. Nazir is on fire. He's like, da 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 57, let's get to 60. 60, tres por favor, drei bitte. Un, deux, toi, s'il vous plaît. I need three more. And I promise you I'll go. I'll down my coffee and I'm out of here. We're on 57, ladies and gentlemen. Anybody for 58? We're on 57 likes. Anybody for 58? 57, 57. Anybody for a higher bidder? Anybody for a 57? Anybody for a 58? 50 miles per gallon. Beautiful. Beautiful. 50 miles per gallon. Aram's in the house. 58. We got 58. Get us to 60. 60, yeah! Hit it, baby! 64. Amen. Thank you. So, yeah, 50, by the way, anybody else here? Anybody can beat that 50 miles per gallon? LAX and it's dead. Nazia, I just came from LAX. It's terrible. I mean, 50 miles per gallon, pff, that's beautiful. And uh, what, what car is that? Is that a, what hybrid is that? What elect, I mean, that's amazing. Oh, this coffee is good. Thank you, Starbucks. Thank you to the baristas on Sepulveda. Thank you to shout out to the baristas on Sepulveda for always making my coffee so delicious. Yeah, what kind of car is that? <coughs> do share, do share. So, as we go out today back onto the streets back onto the highways back onto the byways back onto the freeways back onto the one ways back onto the cul-de-sacs back onto the roads word of the day say no say no say no that's it no to teenage trips no to shared rentals no to pets no to trip radar and no more importantly no to shitty paid fares no to shitty paid deliveries we don't deliver food for dollar 50 ladies and gentlemen who on earth is accepting deliveries for a dollar 50 who on earth is accepting rideshare trips for three dollars come on man raise the bar come on raise the bar it's not that difficult. Don't be a desperate driver. Don't be a desperado. Don't be a little yes man. Yes man. Yes I will. 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 No. No. Niente. Nine. Nichts. Niet. Nada. No. Holy shit. Whole bunch of stuff on the highway here everybody's driving slow getting around the track oh a whole something fell off a truck that's why everybody was so slow so slow like a sloth everybody's driving so slow like a sloth i love you all i appreciate you all i want you all to be safe i will want you all to be able to say no right let's be a team Let's act as a gig family. We're all brothers and sisters. We all take care of each other. We all look out for each other. We all love each other. We all make the best suggestions. If only, if only these fools, these CEOs would listen to us. They would do, they will do way better. They will do so much better if they only started listening to their drivers. I mean, any driver out there is better than a CEO, right? So I appreciate you all. Please, 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 please be safe out there. Lock the windows, be alert. 360 radar always. Anybody, anything looks suspect, anything your gut says ah, doesn't feel right, disengage. No, leave, right? Always be aware. Always be aware of your surroundings. Why do I keep on saying this? Because sometimes we leave, we let our guard down. Remind yourself every time you step into this car, and switch on that phone that app rule number one be aware be alert be on the lookout be careful be responsible right be an adult not a teen and be safe but most importantly be safe because without the safety money means nothing 
Money means nothing when you're six feet under the ground, my friends. Right? You've got to enjoy life. You've got to make money, enjoy and eat the cherries of life and have a good time. I love you all. I appreciate you all. God bless you all and be safe out there. Thank you until the next feed. And remember, word of the day, say no.